Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Rundles. And today for a moment of motivation, I want to talk from a process of thought. No more Jacob. Ah, you're probably saying, what in the world that means? No more Jacob. How many know Jacob represents the struggles that goes on between God and flesh? There is a Jacob in every one of us. There is a Jacob, the deceiver, a cheater, liar, heel catcher. There is a Jacob, the man who wrestled with God face to face. However, God had a plan and a will for Jacob's life. Although Jacob struggled hard against the hands of God, purpose for his life, he came to the point when God got his attention. When you have done everything humanly possible and it's still not enough, uh, you have to come to what we call a penuel, a face to face with yourself and God. Have you come to your penuel? Let's look at Jacob. The, the word penuel is a, a learn from the ex, of experience. Penuel is a place of truth along with God. This is that holy moment when you recognize that the presence of the holy God is in your life. That is when the work is, was, is done. A penuel is a place of revealing truth. Jacob's enemy was not Esau in our text, but it was Jacob himself. The truth dawned on Jacob that he was along with the presence of God. Uh, what happens in this text in Genesis, he wrestled with God. The, wor the word wrestle here means forced together by twisting together as a rope is twisted. The limbs were interlocked. They could feel the heartbeat of each other. They could feel the breath of each other. The second part of the penule is a place of touch. My God, he touched the strongest part of his body. Many times the strongest part of, a lo of our life is touch, our self-sufficiency. The touch reveals the truth. He was his own biggest enemy. He was along with God. He was face to face with God. He was the finite facing the infinite. Uh, the truth revealed in this touch, it was shock into reality. Oh my God, Esau was not his enemy, but he was his own enemy. God was molding and making a man. God was breaking him also. The Panu, the third place, is a place of triumph. How many know that trauma triggers triumph? How I many know a change happens in, uh, in Jacob? Oh my God, Jacob was a changed man. The subject was today, no more Jacob. He had a new name. His name was Israel, meaning prince. He had, he had power with God and man. He was blessed by God. He had a new beginning. He had a new walk, oh my God, with God. He had a changed life forever. Yes, my God. The nation had respect for him now. Have you come to your penuel? Have you come to that place of full surrender to God? Have you abandoned yourself and your self-righteousness? God never uses a man to his greatest ability until that man is a broken man. But be real, be open, be transparent to the eyes of the Holy God. No more Jacob, no more Jacob. How many realize that it is the place when we come to God, uh, the, the Baptist hymn said, I came to Jesus just as I was. I was wearied, I was wounded, and I was sad. But I found in him a resting place, and he sure has made me glad. Uh, so we're talking this morning to encourage you. No more Jacob. Uh, and Jacob represents the struggle that goes on between God and the flesh. How many realize a new way of walking, a new life in Christ? And how many realize that we're living in the abundant life of Jesus Christ? Now we don't, the old man has passed away and behold, all things have become new. We want to encourage you today uh, that no more, Jacob. I have come to the place of God, to meet God face to face, to meet in the presence of God. And God has changed my name. God has changed my walk. God has changed my talk. And now I'm going to walk in the newness of life. May this encourage you this morning. God bless you.